Hi, this is Kirk Fletcher, and I'd like to continue by talking about some more Chicago blues. And I would like to talk about a guy that really influenced a lot of Chicago blues guitar players. I feel like B.B. King really had a lot of records out, and he was really accessible to um, people in Chicago, and he played in Chicago a lot. You know, and I feel like a lot of the lead guitar players, you know, like Buddy Guy, Magic Sam, things took, you know, quite a bit of stuff from B.B. King, you know. And I like to give you an example of some B.B. King style, you know, phrasing and licks. And some things that I picked up from B.B. King in my own playing are, you know, the introduction. He always had a fantastic way of doing introductions to songs, you know, or introductions to his lead or his solo. And one thing I picked up I mean, that, you know, that right there to me is like when I think of that, when I play that, I'm thinking about how happy and excited I was the first time I heard B.B. King. And these are some of the things that always just kind of ring out in my mind about his playing, you know. It's like this just happiness, you know, when you think about it. And I can just imagine a young buddy guy hearing this on a record, you know, or on the radio, and just being fascinated by the way it sounded, because it's so, it swings, it's just so regal sounding, like live at the regal. <laughs> To me, what it sounds like is B.B. was playing rather light with his right hand. Because for me, when I play lighter with my right hand, it seems like the tone is bigger, you know? And for so long, I just had one guitar, and that was a Fender Stratocaster, and I was trying to get like the Gibson sound with that Stratocaster. So I just tried to learn how to lighten up my touch to get the most out of the notes, you know? And always, you know, landing on a note and giving it some kind of vibrato, too, is a really important thing. And that's sort of a thing that I think sometimes in modern times is missing from lead guitars. Really, you know, the older generation, I feel like vibrato was really, really important, you know, like really working on your vibrato. You know, most players that you know, they're known by their vibrato. You think about Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Albert Collins, Albert King, and the list just goes on and on. Another guy is Otis Rush, too, you know. So I really feel like the vibrato is a very important part, you know, and it kind of, you know, lets you know who the person is. You know, you can kind of tell some of these players just by the way they, you know, shake the string. <laughs> Always got to land on the shake. Now I'm going to play in a B.B. King style over that shuffle in A. So in this solo, I played, I started it off sort of like this.
I really like that a lot. I really like this. You know, that's definitely a BB-ism. <laughs> And then you get the classic BB. And for the five chord, I play this. Step and a half. <laughs> 